and now we welcome you once again to TV Ate My Dinner Theater. <laughs> So, I at one point, I was living in a house, and Sean lived in that house, too. It's a bunch of us lived in a house in college. You know how it is. A friend of mine gave me for Christmas, he gave me uh, two of the 12-inch dolls, uh, like a Han Solo and a Darth Vader. 12-inch guy. Yeah, they're like the Barbie yeah, doll size ones. This is the important part ones. of the story. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's key to the story. I don't know why we were so bored, but I was sitting in Sean's bedroom. Just bored out of my mind, and I had my two guys for some reason, and I, I'm pretty sure this was Sean's idea. This is it's, my side of the story. Possible. I'm pretty sure, sure Sean said, you know what would be funny? You should put Darth Vader's clothes on Han and Han's clothes on Darth Vader. I was like, well, why not? So I'm doing this. And then another friend of ours, right, he wants to borrow my leather jacket to go out on a date, which is kind of weird anyway, because he has the date with him, and he's like, I'm going to go borrow this guy's jacket, so you'll you'll think I'm cool, right? So he brings this girl into the house and, and just comes back, and I don't know if we were not expecting them or what, but they open the door, and I'm standing there with a naked Han and a naked Darth Vader doll, one doing, in each you're hand. You're sitting in the floor with them. The, the clothes are scattered. Yeah, I'm like sitting Indian style with, <laughs> with these two naked Darth Vader and Han Solo. <laughs> So the guy comes in, and the first thing he says is like, Sorry to interrupt you while you're playing with your dolls. <laughs> but the look on his face, and too, I, he looked completely There is completely no response. Stunned, too. Like, I don't even think he was playing. <laughs> yeah, he actually just... walked in and was like, ooh. <laughs> like, what, did, what did I walk yeah. into? I mean, there was no response to that. I'm like, I was just taking their clothes off the switch. <laughs> Shut up. You can't have my jacket. <laughs> That's all you can say. But then he took my jacket, and he leaves, and, and for years, Gilbert's been telling this to every girl he meets. I, I guess it's a good thing I'm married. <laughs>